having a good time at the party. We're having a party right here. It's Bryce Wild, everyone. How are you? Our natural health specialist with some solutions for our summer problems. Yeah, so there are a lot of things summer. that come up in the summer, and we've talked with Dr. Dave Greenberg about what you can do from a medical perspective. We want to talk about natural health now. Well, you know, and we're a chemical, or at least merging toward a chemical-free society, or as chemical-free as we can be. Absolutely. And sometimes we can't go that way, so number one most pesky summertime, you know, related issue is, of course, bug bites and mosquitoes. That's right. Uh, and I am a firm believer in DEET, so I'll say that first, okay. and not to put too much of it on, and like look at the percentages, and not for children under a certain age. So mm -hmm. You want to do your due diligence. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I really like what they've got out now. And, and this is a, uh, it is a chemical, but you don't actually apply it. You wear it on your belt and apparently oh, it creates a plume that. of, you know, DEET around you essentially. Right. So you're not exposing it on your skin. And look at the Environmental Working Group and the Environmental Protection Agency for what they list as safe or not, you know, chemicals and things that are causing cancer in us. Yeah. But here's one that maybe you don't necessarily know of. And this is something you can just grab right out of your kitchen, which is a bunch of stalks of celery. And I'm not sure how this is going to work in this particular blender, but all we need to do is extract the juice out of celery. Celery juice, celery juice is very effective yeah. at thwarting mosquitoes. You're kidding me. Yeah, no. Save and by the way, it. and by the way, uh, the other thing you want to maybe you want to consider, and this is not going the way we expected it yeah, to go. Yeah, this blender this is blend sort of better so, with powders and stuff like that. So there you go. You get the idea, and ultimately yeah. you're gonna you're gonna blend this, okay? Pretend and ultimately it's you're gonna juice. get the, and, you know you're gonna pour the yeah. juice. All you need is a shot worth. And this is going to help to thwart mosquitoes. The other thing you might want to drink it, or do you, you just pour drink it? On it? No, your no, no, you're going to drink it. Okay. You're going to drink it. It actually creates pheromones, which, by the way, attract the opposite sex, which is really celery neat. juice does yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, it it's makes my second you... fail with a blender on air, by the way. It's fine. It's fine. None of us are counting. <laughs> so it's good for your waistline. It's going to attract the opposite sex, and it's going to keep mosquitoes away. Right? Why How don't good you is that? market this well, stuff? Right? Go bottle it. Sell uh, it. Mark St. Orange, are you watching? <laughs> no. I mean, obviously, that is something that you know somebody should consider. Absolutely. Uh, to be honest with you. And you know, and a lot of us face uh, burns, uh, heat rash, sunburns. you know, sunburns, yeah. irritations, and so forth. One of my favorite go-tos. This is from you know marigold is, is known as calendula yeah. calendula is an extremely effective healer so in particular for scrapes and cuts mm -hmm. and as long as the cut's not really deep and here's why if it's deep it actually heals so quickly the top layer that you might create an abscess underneath so calendula oh. is really really powerful so you want okay. to use it for the very mild abrasions you know children they come they scrape themselves or yeah. learn to ride bikes or they're running around the park that is an excellent excellent uh, natural healer calendula. Do you use that for sunburns though? You know my favorite for sunburns is actually the aloe vera plant oh, and for sure. you know aloe vera and everyone knows of this one this is a you know universal healer to have around the house this mm -hmm. gelatinous stuff inside uh, you know, if I just apply this, you basically, you know, yeah, that's rub all you that do is like you just lotion. rub this on. As a, you know, by the way, a very severe burn should always be addressed by a medical doctor and and or present to the ER. But if it's a right. mild burn, uh, you know, uh, just a reddening of the skin and you feel it, you've been yeah. exposed too long, aloe vera is an excellent, excellent healing agent. And this basically, does it just cool your skin down? It, it yeah, it's a great, your skin? Yeah, it's a great question, and, and that's it's doing that, but it's also increasing the healing time, or, or delimiting the healing time, increasing the healing ability uh, from the immune system within the cells. Natural killer cells come to the area and actually deal with the inflammation there. Cool. Uh, the other thing you can do is actually mix the gel up and add a couple of ice cubes, and then apply the cotton swab, and that actually creates more of a cooling effect. Okay. So that's another helpful thing. So a lot thing. of people have an aloe vera plant in their house. Around the house. for that very reason. Actually, you know, if Ferns. you're kind of lazy and you want to buy, get it at the store. Yeah. You can go buy a tub of aloe vera gel. Just don't get it with ascorbic acid in it. That's a preservative. And I actually burn in some cases where you're treating mild abrasions. Okay. Swimmer's ear. A lot of us yeah. experience that. That's the external otitis externa yeah. but in the inner ear canal. Does and, it you just know, you wanna, feel like there's water in there? Just like there's water in there. It's, you know, often if I look inside with a, an otoscope, what I'll see is a kind of like a coliform, whitish sort of presence. And that's okay. back to your outside. Internal ear infections you be dealt with differently. Mm -hmm. but but I love this formula. You can actually make this at home, but St. Francis puts out a great one called, uh, you know, a garlic and ear oil mulchin. Okay. And it's a mullion uh, along with garlic infused into olive oil. Yeah. So honestly, if you get a cheesecloth, crush up some uh, garlic and put that in the cheesecloth and, and strain out the, ol or the garlic juice, add some olive oil, a yeah, couple of drops in the ear. Yeah, same stuff. So garlic's got very potent antimicrobial, yeah. antibacterial. It's usually a bacteria that's causing the issue in the external ear. Okay. Stuff that's floating around the top of the swimming pool. Kind of gross, but it's there. That's uh, how it's that not managed happens. effectively. Absolutely. So you got to squirt it in your ear. Got to put it your in your ear. Your ear's gonna stink. 
It's gonna it's stink. Garlic, You're gonna smell like right? a pesto sauce. You're gonna smell like a yummy yeah, pizza meat. But, bad, but yeah, right? And, and but it's so effective. Mm. Actually, it is very effective. Good. Okay, yeah. so what would we use these for? Well, you know, I was talking All to some of the stuff. producers. What else should we talk about for you know? And actually, this has happened to me. Yeah. I actually got sprayed by a skunk. I mean, Ooh. this is not a very common thing, but if you are. Uh, there's a few things that don't work, and you okay. know we've heard of these chemical deodorizers and professional deodorizers made for this. We also heard of maybe t taking a dunk in some tomato juice, having a bath in tomato juice. Right. Actually, it's been debunked. What does work is some baking powder in a bath, yeah. baking soda, hydrogen peroxide. All right, and all you need is a couple of tablespoons in an entire bath of hydrogen peroxide. That's and okay. That's okay to go on your. That's why I'm mixing it all together, and, and some and dish soap. Yeah, you're going to spend some time in a bathtub okay. sizing this up. Now the dish soap's going to take care of these specific oils that the skunk releases, mm. and these same oils are found in putrefying meat and feces, which is why it stinks oh, so much. It's disgusting. Boy. It's going to take care of that. Hydrogen peroxide is going to sort of bleach it out of you, and this yeah. is an, you know, this is another one of those universal that just cleans neutralizers. Right. That it really does. What did you do when you got sprayed by the skunk? I tried the tomato juice. Did you know, you? it wasn't actually so simple as getting sprayed. This skunk had babies under our house, the oh, entire no. house, all of our clothes. And by the way, it was in high school. Imagine the embarrassment of going to high school, and that stuff stays on your skin. It absorbs in your skin. Yeah. This was walking around my high school for days smelling, smelling like a skunk. Smelling like skunk. Your parents so let you back in the house, So huh? gross, yeah, actually. I don't know what all, I would we do. We all smell, Stay though. in the garage. <laughs> the okay, summertime what are woes. these for? Well, you know, these are excellent. You know, a lot of us experience traveler's diarrhea when we go away. In foreign places, whether we're really eating some exotic food or not, we yeah. often get a little bit of tummy upset. A few things mm -hmm. really, really work. These are excellent. They're shelf-stable, uh, little probiotic sachets. Okay. okay. And this is another more powerful form of probiotic. Uh, probiotic bio -K, and both are, are excellent but you also want to combine a couple hours of parts and called hydrastis Okay. Hydrastis, or otherwise called golden seal. It's a very powerful herb that takes care of, you know, helminths, parasites, all kinds of, you know, bacteria, uh, and, and importantly, you know, things like E. coli when they're not at, you know, uh, you know extreme loads and, and, you know, complicated right. infectious loads. So you always want to, you know, talk to your family doctor about any issues you have this way as well. But if you travel with this stuff, first line approach, first line therapy yeah. to treating uncomfortable, uh, you know, upset stomach. Is this just for traveling? Because I know we're yeah, supposed no. to sort of have these healthy. Uh, bacteria in our body all the time. Should you take these on a regular basis? You know, if you've taken antibiotics, it's the first go-to. Once you finish your course of antibiotics, in some yeah. cases even during, I recommend strongly loading up with a very high dose of probiotic for at least a week or two. Because okay. the antibiotics will kill the infection, and yeah. often effectively, and that's what's needed, yeah. but they'll also kill the good bacteria in our gut. Now we know the good bacteria is responsible for over 80% of our immune system. It's called GALT, or gut-associated lymphatic tissue, in our gut, yeah. and that's so imperative for our global immune system. Okay, good right. to know. Let's yeah. go to